Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I would like to show you where the Premiere Pro Workspace Layout Settings location in Windows. And this could be very helpful if you're transferring your Premiere Pro to another computer or laptop and you want to preserve all the same settings for your workspace and you don't want to change it all over again. If you have already worked out a really good workspace layout and you want to just keep it on on the next machine or on a second machine, then it will be real simple. Then you just need to transfer the file from one machine to another. This is very simple and this is what I'm going to show to you in this video. So let's get started and before we start, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more interesting, helpful Premiere Pro videos. Also, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. I appreciate it very much. And if you still will have any comments or questions after this video, please leave them down in the comment section below. I appreciate it very much and let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and start the Premiere Pro. I'm sticking to the 2020 version because it really works great. So I'm just going to start a new project and we're going to call it Premiere Pro Workspace Layout Location. This is a regular workspace layout for editing, but if you would like to change it, of course, you can move it up and down depending how much space you need for each window or each panel. As you can see, there are lots of panels over here. So if you would like to have more room for this panel, can just move it here then this is going to be your program monitor if you don't need too large of a picture so for example you have decided that this is the workspace layout that works best for you and you want to save it just like it is go to the window go to the workspaces then click on the save as new workspace then let's go ahead and call it project one okay so now if you go back to the window workspaces as you can see it has already saved this project one's workspace layout and then if I go back to editing, there you go. So now it's back to editing again. This is how it's going to look when you first start the Premiere Pro. This is the first screen. It's in editing right now. Actually, when you start it, it's going to be in the learning mode like this. But then if you go to the editing, this is going to be your Premiere Pro editing. But then once again, if you go to the window, workspaces, you go to the project one. As you can see, this project one is already saved, which is good. And for example, if you like this way and you want to transfer it to another computer, then you just got to go to the Windows File Explorer, go to the Drive C or whatever letter you have for your system drive. As you can see, this is a Windows SSD. And in my instance, it's going to be the Drive C. In most cases, it will be the Drive C, but sometimes it could be a different letter. So go ahead and open it up. Then go to the Users folder. Then choose the current user that you have logged in. Then go to Documents. Then go to Adobe. Premiere Pro and here you're going to see all the different versions of Premiere Pro that you have installed. In case you have a few different versions installed on your computer, you're going to have a few folders. So you got to choose the one that you want to copy the workspace layout settings from. And in my case, it's going to be the 14. So open it up, then go to your profile. And here's your folder called layouts. And here's all your user workspace layouts that you have saved. So you can go ahead and copy them. And then, for example, open up another folder, paste them. There you go. So now you have all the settings saved. And then if you need to transfer it on a different machine, you just got to go to the same folder and then copy all these workspace settings back here and replace them. If there are already some saved, you just got to click replace and they're going to be replaced with these files. And then when you go to the Adobe Premiere Pro, you can go to the window workspace and you're gonna have all your workspace saved over here, which is really great, which is gonna save you a lot of time and you don't have to modify it all over again. Then also in this folder, if you go to this Win folder, this file is actually your keyboard shortcut layout file. So if you have saved some custom shortcuts, they're gonna be located in this file as well. And if you copy this file to your next machine, then you're gonna have the exact same shortcuts as before which I really recommend doing because sometimes the shortcuts that you get in, they're not the best for everyone. You can save your custom keyboard layout preset. As you can see, I've done my here, Pulsar Tech. There are other presets here, such as Adobe Premiere Pro Default, Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, Avid Media Composer 5, Final Cut Pro 7.0, which are good if you work in that program, but I prefer to use my own shortcuts. So this is where this file is located in case you need to transfer it to a new machine. So yeah, this is it guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support it with your like. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. 
And if you have any suggestions what next Premiere Pro video you want me to make, please drop it down in the comment section below. I'll try to make it. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.